yeah it's just a couple of bits that you're you know you're supposed to do like ring bells and stuff that's the problem Oh, it's probably against terms of service somewhere right okay so back to the usual rules applying then no uh no back seating unless asked oh wrong one <laughs> nah, no back there So yeah, welcome in. This it's time for part one of Daylight. The new game. Yeah, ring the bell. <laughs> oh, punished by Atlas. Oh. Let's do a new story then. Uh yeah, let's. Bloody hell, last time I played this was nine years ago. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Can you remember any of it? Nope. <laughs> so throw item, drop item, climb, pick up, use, sprint, uh, use glow stick, use flare. Yeah, flares will protect you. I must succeed. Oh, it's a penitentiary. So fairly spooky. Probably like Outlast, probably. because the camera battery and that's on don't really need to use that at the moment what be there 
this. You want me to look within? <laughs> yeah, I have to be honest mate, I can't say I'm a huge fan of Outlast myself. Be some spooky shit going on. So I can't get there, can we? No. Have you noticed the maps on a mobile phone? <coughs> so something done in that boiler room when the orderly saw it too. It ain't right, and I'm not staying here. Find out its intentions, George. I mean, when I get to Outlast, I'm just going to continue on from where I left off, which was in the, in the actual asylum bit itself, I believe. Uh, I think I saw that thing you were talking about the other day. I don't know what the hell it is, but it ain't a person. It just stared at me and then it dis disappeared when I, when I shined my light on it. Billy says I was seeing shadows, but I know what I saw. Something's not right down there. I'm putting a transfer request. But from what? What I briefly remember, I don't remember this being a particularly long game. Uh, Nurse Foster's complained that orderly William Farish disappears for hours at a time during shifts, and when he finally shows up, his hands and knee, the knees of his pants are, are as dirty as though he's been out digging in the dirt. When she asks him about it, he seems confused and asks where he can bathe. It's fourth complaint in two weeks about Farish, and I thought that matters should be escalated to you. <laughs> well, something's not good here. Fear that with the upcoming closure of the hospital, we'll be unable to find a home for her ourselves. It's sad that a life brought into this world under such violence now become a ward of the state. She will undoubtedly be bounced between institutions. So, are they trying to say we've been, we've been here before? Is that what they're trying to say? that where this patient
<laughs> Back to tidying up the horse, Michael. <laughs> I mean, at least we're doing this part now, you know, in the daytime. <laughs> yes, yes, I saw that too. Cheesy beasties. I saw you there. New Kipling, did I make exceedingly good cakes? Maybe, don't know, possibly. <laughs> That's what a monster wants. Hello, Flossie. Yeah, I'm not bad, thank you. I'm not bad. I hope you're well. There's got to be a key. Got to be a key. Do we need to find a key? How's it going, Flossy? You're right. <laughs> so you are indeed bad and an ass. Busy is as busy does. Now we've got to find a key. Because I believe we find a key, that's the way out of here. way blocking it. 
You just got some batch four just handed to you. When you say batch, Six. Okay, where's the key? What was going on there? Let's just take a moment. <laughs> <laughs> if you want high quality tourist souvenirs, check them out. <laughs> tourist souvenirs? Last night, approximately 7 p.m., the power went off to this section of the facility due to an unfortunate timing. We were unable to transfer a critical patient to the emergency department, and he passed away in transit in the hallway behind the record room security door. To avoid this type of tragedy in the future, the hospital has decided that non maintenance staff uh, should be aware that the security door will not operate when the power is out. You must reset the breaker using the door. Please remind yourself where the power switch is located within the records room stack management. Well, yeah, because now I can't get by there.
use the breaker again. With magnets, keychains, door signs and carefully cut stickers. Alright, is that for different countries that you then sell them to? Or send them to? Or is it just the states, like the certain state you're in? Yeah, difficult to make it outside on your 10 minute breaks. However, just because the record room is large and has high ceiling does not mean you can move things about greater satellite break with smoking. We've got several staff members moving supply crates, stacking them precariously and climbing over them to serve as a lookout. Be advised, this is not gym equipment. Climbing on crates of medical supplies will not be tolerated. <laughs> right, Ms. Daniels was found dead in the staff quarters this morning. There was a suicide note indicating she was extremely unhappy at work and in her personal life. Uh, personal on site state. She died from rapid blood loss caused by self-inflicted laceration on her wrists. <sighs> her body was found sitting in a wheelchair. Pending a police investigation, Ms. Daniels' body is tra was transported to the morgue. Seriously similar to other circumstances. Oh my god. Yeah, that's not good. Uh, was one of the most local, influential, or medically profound places in your city, in our city history. Yet few people know how important its presence has been, from treating smallpox in the 1850s to contributing to tuberculosis research in uh, more recent years. The hospital has done much to benefit the citizens of New Kipling. Even its brief, if failed, attempt at reopening as a penitentiary helped to keep our citizens safe. You never open it as a penitentiary. We know spooky stuff like this happens. Every damn time. Every time we know this stuff happens like this. Uh, accused crime, 16 more go. Allowed to live, admits guilt, condemned to hang evil. Oh god, it's now a child as well. Bits in the ring, here we come. <laughs> nightly rounds uh, nurse Moriarty had <laughs> noticed patient 90D standing in his room in an agitated state the nurse claimed the man was beating his face against the mesh protecting the glass she screamed for help and by the time we arrived the patient's face was completely covered in blood and he was raving about faces in the dark the patient was quickly subdued and taken to the infirmary where the attending physician reported he would likely lose both eyes yeah, the patient didn't seem bothered about this. Oh, I wonder why. And then 
there is a hospital as it stands today, abandoned and referred to by the locals as Crow Island for its ominous bird population. Dots for the island it sits on are now more synonymous with rumours about curses and hauntings. Uh, there is hardly a youth in New Kipling who does not entertain the right of passage of sneaking into the abandoned building. And the stories they concoct about hearing voices, smelling cigar smoke, or even seeing women's shadows and wandering the hallways have done little to preserve the reputation of this once life saving pillar of our community. Because it's because they see it. Look, they see it all. There's a bit there that we have to walk this way to to get to. Okay, uh, psychiatric ward report. Patients have taken their pills and are all settled in after an ev ev evening meals. Dyer refuses to check on patient night D after the incident. Spat blood all over her and yelled some gibberish about casting a spell. Today is my first day of serving patient ninety D. He seemed high strung and ready to snap, except towards patient Pat uh, Patrice. She is oddly special to him. Lovely. I mean, this seems more like a um, spooky graphic novel, you know. Or one of those spooky walking games. You know what I mean? But Fatal Frame is used more the camera to get rid of the spooky buggers, you know? Like, like the game Everybody's Gone to the Rapture. go from here. So I can't climb up there. I see what I've got to do. Right, I see. It's like a spooky tale being told as you're, you know, you're walking around doing these little bits and investigating. Which again is fine because, you know, change of pace to what we've just been doing.
Okay. That's a picture of a ward. Squeaky doors. <laughs> Not on the right path yet, but we can. We can get to that. That's fine. Not a problem. Okay, so uh, patient 27C. Patient is physically healthy but deteriorating mentally. Sounds like the pandemic days, doesn't it, really? Uh, he remains in a straitjacket under constant observation. Uh, patient continually yells that the maze is never ending. Screams continue throughout all hours of day and night, ranging from low monotone chants to fevered high pitched howls. Electroshock therapy has been scheduled for tomorrow morning. I mean, I don't think that's going to work, but you never know. I found my way without realising it. <laughs> the, event, the events will shock you. I mean, if I had found my way... Right, so that's where the next key is to continue on this journey. Okay, the citizens of New Kipling uh, begun performing spirit cleansing rituals on the nearby Mid Island in order to keep the town pure from the dark time. Uh, little factual evidence has been discovered about the nature of these rituals. But after the cleansing took place, New Kipling announced the city had been reborn. Okay, so now we need to go find the other bit to that key part. But at least we know that's there. Apparently running away from that's a good idea. I 
mean, who knew, eh? Who knew? Okay, the village of New Kipling uh, traces its roots to mid 1600s. The rich fishing source, along with easy access, trade routes, drew early sit uh, settlers to the village. The next game on the uh, the list after this I is very polarizing. You're there. <sighs> okay, patient twenty seven C suffers from an obsession with mazes, compulsive behavior is driven driven him to draw mazes all over his cell. Having run out of space, patient turns on himself, carving an elaborate maze into his own flesh, completely enveloping his chest, parts of his back, forearms and upper arms, even upper thigh, even parts of buttock and genitals. How? be really weird wouldn't it it's like what have you done to yourself mm -hmm. uh right please yeah okay fuck off what piss off is there anybody in there You fuck off. Ah, ha ha. Okay, then where's the uh, the key? Okay, so we know the way out. The sigil is here. Wait, 
you're saying the sigil is here. I saw the sigil. Any guesses why, chat? Welcome back, Michael. You can fuck off. You can fuck right off. You can fuck off now. <laughs> Rather immersive. Good Lord. go around there somehow. Okay, patient 9F admitted with burns on over 60% of body, skin graft underway, pa patient is refusing treatment and talks constantly about visions, but we're proceeding anyway. Sometimes it's not about what the patient wants, but about doing whatever it takes to make them better. Okay, Judy, it's recently come to my attention that much of the staff, yourself included, has been getting a bit too comfortable spreading rumours. I don't need to remind you how well you and the others have it there compared to the disease-ridden mainland, do I? Mm -hmm. Yes, we've had a wealth of issues with the inmates and some of more colourful patients. Yes, we've had to turn to drastic measures to deal with them occasionally, but I need everyone here behind me if we're going to keep this place running. I'm doing everything I can. The lunatics are taking over the asylum.
Jeepers. <laughs> Okay, chat. Good. What was that? I'm trying to talk to chat game. Could one of you look to see roughly how far I am into this already? If you could, please. So we are in the secure unit part here. Okay, uh, attention staff. There has been a noticeable increase in prisoner violence both among themselves and towards staff. In the future, all guards will be required to do their rounds in groups of two or more. Nurses will not be allowed to tend to ill patients anywhere except the infirmary. Absolutely no exceptions. Incident report to Captain Alex Signor uh, backs the reports that the lights down in solitary confinement are flickering and that some are turning off at times. I have sent a request to maintenance to look at it. Even, the, even in the hole, prisoners 203 is causing problems. He's trying, trying to get his eyes out. Ben backs in a few of the night shift, put him in a straight jacket for now. Uh, I'll be calling the asylum tomorrow to have one of the people come and check him out. Uh, the manager's not right. He still insists that something is in the cell with him. I mean, you say that. There might well be. Is there anybody in there? <laughs> no probably no corporeal spirits, their bodies. I mean if you want me to take a load off, that's fine, that's very nice of you, but I didn't really ask. That's okay, thank you. Oh, 
If you ever heard, if you ever played the game Madison, you'll know what that's about. You can have a temper tantrum all you want. The fact is, I'm just asking if anybody's in here. <laughs> right, so that's me double backed on myself. Look, don't mind me. Yeah, is anybody in here? There's nobody here but us chickens. It does take take you back to how it used to be in terms of asylums and stuff. Okay, so officer striker, 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 striker. <laughs> Has currently been suspended without pay until further notice. Former investigation into the accusations of overly brutal punishments on prisoners and t torture tactics is currently underway. Investigation to be carried out in house only. Public knowledge to be kept to a minimum. All right, to a minimum. Oh, Jesus.
I don't know if we can accept any more inmates. It's gotten to the point where we have four inmates in a cell working the front desk. I see every single one come in. And each one looks uh, crazy in the last one. I'm just not sure how much longer this penitentiary can operate at this capacity. Fuck me! Death. The Great Equalizer. not cool. Just give me the willies. Ooh. <laughs> I mean, that would take away our problem, wouldn't it? Okay, uh, his body was covered in maze-like cuts from the skin and tongue. His eyes are also missing. It's unclear whether this self-inflicted or work or the work of another. Or he pressed to investigate tunnels. Dr. Mercer interceded and took command, leading a small team of guards. He felt he could trust. It's like a victim's family we declared it a murder. Body slated for cremation before sending the remains off the island. Yeah, no, that's fair. Again, going that way. There's a couple of bits in the. Uh... So this is literally the only way we can go. Okay. Anybody there? Is anybody out there? There. Do ba do 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 ba do ba do ba do ba do 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 ba do. So we already found where we need to be. In, in terms of key, so I guess we've got our... I've literally come from that way. Six minutes.
<laughs> Thank you, Michael. <laughs> For the 150 bits. To put yourself back on top. <laughs> but I've already done that bit, that's fine. It was all the way up here, wasn't it? Yeah. Unfortunately, God ain't going to make it stop. Stop showing up for a shift almost two weeks ago to have a job. Right, okay. Oh fucking run. the key okay so we need to run straight down Holy Bible! We've got one minute to get there. Such brutality, corruption, chaos.
that's a turn around it's in there Trophy! Oh. Prison break. So that must have been where we got to last time then. Uh, where the doc's methods are sometimes unconventional. We can't argue with the results. Not only have we helped advance science and save lives, but we've got several confessions out of these scumbags as well. The things people admit to doing are just sickening. I can't believe I ever doubted old Mercer. Okay, so that is where we'll leave it for now. We will come back to this tonight, 10 p.m. UK time. <gasps> spooky goings on, spooky, spooky, spooky goings on. But yeah, right, I've got to go do stuff so I can't do a raid. Um, yeah, I've got to make sure my light's working because it started flickering the past couple of nights, so seems like that's on its way out uh, gotta help mum with the food and get done before delivery gets here because you know it may turn up bloody early but anyway join us later on tonight you have yourselves a wonderful day and also people like Over will be streaming tonight from half past eight uh, I believe Maelstrom Alpha will be streaming tonight from seven so if you want something in the meantime can't go wrong with them. Anyway, I shall catch you later tonight. Have yourselves a wonderful night, evening, afternoon, whatever you're doing. And I'll see you later. Tuckley Bar.